Hello everybody again on Simply Food YouTube channel. Today we'll continue uh, what are the uh, process risk assessment and how we can uh, draw it on our uh, HACCP plan. So the first cell will be the process name, the potential hazard, the risk assessment, okay, the outcome and significant risk. Make it bold, it will be better. The explanation and the reason, the control measure. I'm just making an example, okay? In our HACCP plan, it is just an example and just making like brainstorming. Okay. Just make all the cells merge. Control S. Now we'll continue. And remember that each now all this the flow diagram. Each process here must be uh, mentioned in the process risk assessment. As we have mentioned, all the uh, raw material risk assessment, either the orange fruit the water, the air, okay, and also the packaging material. We must also we must also take care of the process. So each process must be mentioned in the process risk assessment, okay? So the first process, or we can mention here also, we can write here the number of process merge number of process because your HACCP or your uh, flow diagram containing numbers as you can see here it starts from 1 to 16 to ensure that you have mentioned all the uh, flow diagram Processes, so it's better to uh, enumerate your uh, process steps and finally ensure that you are have done risk assessment to each process of it. So we will start with number one process, the the process name here. Okay. the receiving of raw material I call this text as wrap and metal okay receiving of risk assessment each process you, you must make it by this way and mention and make merge here and also merge here and you must mention the separately different hazard for each one the physical hazard the chemical hazard and the biological hazard So this must be the shape of each process in our process risk assessment for the HACCP plan. Okay. As you can remember, our main process risk assessment uh, decision tree that either if it is low risk so it's moderate uh, so uh, it's prp or moderate risk also prp high risk so we'll go to the decision tree so in our example here just make this calculation that it is multiply this shift eight and this and enter so it will be the total okay control s for example according to the 
um, has obtained that severity of the physical hazard in the raw material will be 4 and the probability will be 1 so the result will be 4 which is not significant risk you can also make this bigger to be shown better through this okay the explanation why it is uh, uh, for severity 4 or probability 1 because maybe due to unclean orange fruit from farm during harvesting okay the control mechanism to be the approved supplier okay and visual inspection okay it's very important to write sentences here to read each point on your okay so there will be no sorry there will be no any okay no problem it will be Okay, no any decision trees and it is RP, RP, okay, because the receiving of the raw materials are PRPs. So the second thing in the chemical hazard, for example, it will be severity, you have done moderate risk, high risk and medium risk, okay. For example, this is 3 multiplied by 2, the result will be 6, so it's not significant risk. Because we have mentioned that if it is low risk or moderate risk, it's not significant risk. When it is significant risk, when it is uh, the, the multiplication result uh, between severity and probability is 12 to 25. So there here will be the explanation why it is uh, severity uh, 3 and probability 2 maybe due to uh, residuals of pesticides in far okay spelling guess of pesticides not correct thanks okay also, here it will be from the approved supplier, but not visual inspection because chemical hazard is not can be detected uh, or hard to be detected visually. So the certificate of analysis are our control and also this part are PRP. So each one we must mention that uh, it is very important and the biological hazard, which is either uh, vegetated vegetative pathogen or sporulated pathogen the severity is for example 5 the probability is 1 so it is 5 it is not significant risk also due to uh, also maybe due to contamination of orange contamination of orange okay or improper storing temperature there is a small uh, hint here is very important in the raw material in the hazard analysis of the raw material when we mention here in the orange fruit that it is ambient temperature sorry ambient temperature or refrigerated we must mention exactly the temperature for example uh, 8 for example uh, sorry ambient temperature so it is 25 plus or minus 5 okay in case of ambient And for example, from eight to ten 
Silesius. This is all our examples in case of refrigerated. This is this is not a scientific uh, uh, reference. It's just just an example. All our HACCP plan and Simply Food YouTube channel are just our examples and just making some kind of brainstorming how you can create an HACCP uh, plan. So let's go back to our aroma, uh, risk assessment for the process. Approved supplier also and the certificate of analysis are important and the PRPs very important. Stay with us on Simply Foodia YouTube channel and we'll continue the rest of our row, uh, sorry, uh, risk assessment for the uh, processes. Best luck of all of you and goodbye.